Hi everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. This will be a video a piano tutorial for Elliot Smith's In the Lost and Found, Honky Bach. So I encourage you to check out my, uh, I have an acoustic version and a synthesia version. Uh, the acoustic version is kind of um, the one that this tutorial will be based off of. The synthesia version is just there so you can kind of see the notes more laid out more clearly. Uh, I would use it in addition to this tutorial to, to try to learn the song. So let's get right into it. Um, got our little opening intro lick. Let's see here. Left hand is kind of doing this B flat over F, E flat 6, B flat over D, and then like a C minor 7. So it's like a walking down, the little bass line starting at F is walking down. You'll see me change the chords a little bit as I go. Right hand over that is doing um, kind of playing around with this F, G, B flat, D kind of sound with the C in there. Go ahead and double some of the notes in there. Um, I was just trying to get an approximate version of what Elliot was doing on the piano. Uh, I do think there were, sometimes he was playing the C and the F in addition, like. You know, try adding some notes and see what sounds better to your ear. So after we have the introduction over the B flat, E flat, B flat over D, C minor seven, then we have our verses. And so what I did to differentiate between the introduction and the verses, because um, the the uh, chords are kind of follow the same kind of pattern here. So I brought it down an octave and then I started playing my melody in the right hand. So we do those same chords four times again, just like in the introduction. But again, I'm doing an octave lower. Left hand's kind of doing the same thing, that descending line. Right hand's going to emphasize more the melody, kind of drawing it out and doing a little bit of notes in between there as well, but it, just to make it a little bit different from the introduction. So we've done that four times, and then we have a B flat over F, and then an F sharp augmented which goes to D, like a, like a D7 or just a D chord. C minor seven, E flat six. And then uh, we go to B flat here. And I was doing like kind of like walking on, just like a really basic outline. To E flat, D flat, F over C, D flat. F over C, and then we have our introduction again, and kind of jumping up here. Let me play that all slowly. Um, So it's going to be kind of a jump to get that out of there. So let's see, what, what are some of the things I was thinking about there to get out of that? Because I'm down here in the lower octaves. You know, just playing that double, playing the B flat again with the left hand. You could even give yourself a little bit of breathing room there. You know, so not landing right in the downbeat for the for the reintroduction of the introduction again. <laughs> reintroduction of the introduction. So that's coming out of that. Excuse me. So 
for that little intro look again. And this time, to make it a little more interesting or change it up, I did the, the kind of left hand outlining like a walking bass, but it's just over just the chord triads. So we're gonna go back and forth between B flat and E flat. there in this next part. And here's where it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of uh, going back to the B flat we would, like we did the first time, we have a G minor chord. And I call this a C minor 6 over E flat. You may hear something different there. But just because the melody is that E nat, uh, excuse me, the A natural to B flat, B flat major seven, and then I noticed there was a, a note that's coming through on the F over the B flat. And that's going to be like an E flat minor over B flat. E flat over G. Here's our G flat, D flat, F minor over C, B flat minor, G flat, D flat over F, E flat minor, B flat minor, G flat, D flat over F. E flat minor, and then we have this little back and forth with B flat and E flat. But before I get into that, let me play that through slowly again without interrupting to talk about the chords. So we're going to start with the G flat minor. I'm using a lot of octaves and a lot of big chords here. You wouldn't have to do that necessarily. I mean, there's much simpler ways of playing these chords. I'm just trying to make them big to make them more emphasized in my version. Um, then I kind of did this back and forth, like a little bit of uh, moving bass line in the left hand between B flat and E flat. Um, Just kind of, I would just improvise that there. So I can't say much more about that than going be between B flat and E flat. Coming to another verse here. I played it very similar to the first time I played the verse. And then, for the first two times I played it very similar to the first verse, and then the next two times through this chord progression, I'm back to that kind of the outline in the, the chord triads of my left hand. Here's a don't go in the lyrics section. again. And then a big B 
flat major chord <laughs> pretty basic triad there to end with so it's very final um so yeah that's chords and melody for that at least the way i'm, I'm playing on the piano this is one of my favorite parts here one of the things i really like about elliot's music is just how musically complex it is um he throws in a lot of chords maybe you wouldn't necessarily think of and i love this section right here especially going to the b flat major there's so pretty major out of that b flat minor but anyway i think that's a really cool really beautiful piece thank you for the request and uh, i think it was neil uh, one of my supporters requested that piece and um, i'm happy to share it with you i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions or comments leave them below i like to try to read through the comments and help anybody or reply to anybody that has any questions or anything um Big thank you to my patrons on Patreon, as well as other supporters for supporting this channel and reaching out. And, uh, you know, for whatever it's worth, I, I do want to say something. Uh, 2020 has kind of been a rough year, I think, for most everybody. Um, and some of you have reached out and, ta and told me how much this channel and the music I share means to you. And uh, several people have told me, you know, they started playing piano again because of the music I've been sharing here. And, you know, um, that means the world to me and it uh it's really helped and it, it's really encouraging to hear that so thank you for your kind comments thanks for watching um i hope you found this helpful and uh, i will catch you next time